everybody welcome back did you know my mom was a quilter <laughs> my mom's been quilting for how many years have you been quilting um, 20 but it's just a hobby for me she has a quilting hobby she's got a little setup over there we wanted to show you this quilt this quilt how old is explain this quilt some of this fabric is from the 1930s it's my husband's grandmother's fabric the, the, these blocks. She made the blocks and I inherited them through the years and I put them all together and added some 1930 reproduction fabrics. But this was uh, Grandma's flower garden is what it is. Traditionally this is green but I wanted to match the room. So, well, here's, it's pretty. here's another one from the, her same fabrics. Oh, this is pretty. And I just put it together a little different. But it's the same 1930s fabric. Like I said, she made the, the, the blocks and I put them together. When I did an, a reproduction fabric, then I made the blocks, of course. But it was fun to do, and it's really a hobby that I like doing. I'm very slow at it. They're very pretty. But she has another one over here. She's this, got a lot in here. I have a lot. This one I took a class and fortunately it was purple and matched the room, but I have too many to use. I've given the girls a lot. Well, one, each one had one. I sleep with mine. That's my favorite blanket actually. This was just a fun class I took. Oh, that's pretty. Different tech. Each block was a different technique, of course. If you're a quilter, you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. And oh, and the points. Look at the points. <laughs> if you're a quilter, you'll understand the points. I don't. Did you make the pillows too? I made this pillow. That one to Just go with one. the other. To go, yeah. I still have some blocks left. I still have some grandmother flower garden blocks left. Do you? Mm -hmm. That well, over here was that a project you're making? This is, yeah. I'm, well, that's pretty. This is a friend of mine uh, designed this whole quilt. She has books and classes. But I, like I said, I'm so slow. This should have been a quilt, but I'm stopping at two blocks to make a wall hanging. Well, that's pretty. All right, now we're going to see her first ever quilt, the one, the one that she started with. Everybody has to start somewhere, now, right? I would not choose these fabrics today, but this is my first class, my first quilt. It's still pretty. The colors are pretty. This also matched the wall, which I don't, I don't do that anymore. I just make them the colors you like. Yeah. This is a sampler with all these different blocks. Well, it, I think about 1988 I made this one. She's been quilting for a long time. Like I said, it's a It's hobby. 2020 now. I'm very slow. Oh. And this one I made just because I liked it. She made this Christmas. That is really cute. I like winter that. Winter wall hanging. A win winter wall hanging. That is, that is really cute. I made it because I thought it was cute. Out of a magazine, actually. A pattern in a magazine. That is really, I like the fabric on that. That's really cute. And then she made this one to go as a throw to go just with the furniture in here. And that's really pretty too. I like the colors on this. Really pretty. Well, I hope you liked all my mom's quilts. I think they're really pretty. I do, do. It's a very fun hobby. I have not picked up that hobby yet. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna. But I know I'm gonna inherit a, a lot of quilts. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. What?